everyone welcome back to this new tutorial today we're gonna learn how to create some interesting lighting effect using Rescope. so most of the time when you want to do some product visualization you need some interesting light setup some studio setup so here i have uh, this uh, asset which is in the Lusco online library assets so you just have to enable the add-on and drag this one in okay when it's done you have this uh, environment and i have nothing uh, complicated so if i turn on the render the viewport render there's nothing so if i turn on the flat light you can see they just uh, matte uh, uh, shader on all those things so so let's say i want to make a uh, a studio light a basic studio light so add a shader on um, there's a plane they share the same shader and add emission light on them so let's add uh, the same shader to the second plane on the top so um, make uh, material okay so i have there's lighting and it is pretty boring so there is some sharp edge everywhere so so let's say we want to make the light a bit interesting by adding some shape on the light but you don't want to model the shape so you want to use some texture but you fear that your texture is not good enough there is not a good resolution so one way to overcome this uh, problem is to use uh, procedural texture so i go to the node panel and add a blend a blend texture plug in this texture and in, in this inside of the color of the emission and in the material emission too so as you can see we start to get some gradient texture on the top light but we have nothing here so there's two panel uh, plane have uh, unwrapped so i assume that you have unwrapped your your plane but how to fix the the black uh, color here you just add a 3d map and switch to uv map so we get uh, our texture coordinated using uv map so as you can see there is no gradient so how to make the gradient come back how to reduce the size of the gradient texture by using this value so by going to negative you can see that the texture is becoming gradient in gradient so very interesting you can still increase the light uh, in your texture by just increasing the gain you can also change the color of your texture by using a matte color matte here like this and change the first color to complete black and make the second color your input color so you can see you can change using any color you want okay this is not all you can also change the rotation of this uh, texture so you get uh, something very interesting so i can do something like this so I get a pretty triangular texture so you can get this uh, nice shape uh, this is very interesting and you can also do something else by having a spherical shape by using this one spherical so you get the sphere here the cycle here we want the cycle to be in the middle so you can you use this uh, value to change the position of the the, the sphere the, the, the cycle and you use this one to reduce the cycle and change the position again okay reduce and change the position okay 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 nice so you have this uh, nice uh, spherical light inside of the of your your light texture so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you the next time